Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Draw. In this module, I want to show you how you can use Draw to demonstrate how to find a critical path. So what I'm going to do first of all is create some nodes and I'm going to use the circle or the ellipse tool to do that. So I'm just going to draw an ellipse, hold the shift key down and that will convert that into a circle for me. I don't want a colour, I just want it white. Now I want to put some diagonal lines on this and then I want to group it to make it into one thing. So these tools down the left hand side, you've got different connections, you've got an arrow on them and so on and so on. So you've got these different lines there as well, straight line and you've got a line there. So depending which one you use, if I click on this option, basically because I've got that selected, it's not giving me the actual position for the draw except outside of the circle so if I'm going to click away from that so it's not active and then just use that again now I can sit my mouse where I need it to go and draw a diagonal line now when I click away from that it's slightly overlapping but I'll just go for another one and then see how that looks That doesn't look too bad, it's not equidistant, so if I try it a slightly different way, so if I just copy this circle, Control c and then Control v just sits it on top, move that over, and try using these lines, so these are connectors, now they've got arrowheads on them, most of them have, straight connector, so this one, when you do that, you actually get the marker on the circle, so you can, you can aim it quite accurately. So I'll go from that one to that one. That's good. And then I want that again. And I want to go from that one to that one. So it gives me equidistance and I'm not sort of guessing what I'm doing there. So it snaps into position. If I click that away, that's great. So this one's rubbish. So get rid of that. So this is the one I'm going to go for. Now I want to group this so it's all one image. So if I just highlight the whole thing. What you've got on the right there on the draw tab is group. So I want to group that. So that should now move as a group. It does. And what I now need to do is put some text boxes in these four segments. So if I go up to insert text box and then draw a small little text box, it's going to fit inside there. I don't want it too big. I'm going to put one zero in there, which is massive. I don't want it that big. I'm going to reduce that to 12 point. That's the size I want this. So if I click on that and then copy that and then just move this away, put that one in there. So that's where it's going to sit. Like so. And then paste, control V, and then I can just sit on that one. Don't get it. Click it first. I need, to sit, I need to get the right tool, otherwise it's going to move the, resize the whole thing. Position that where I want it to go. Paste again. And then move this one into the position I want it to go. And then paste again and move the next one in the same place in the position I want it to go. So that's the node that I want to create. So it's got numbers in each segment. Let's move that across a little bit. That one probably go across. I'm using the arrow keys to move them across. That's okay. Now I need to group these again so they all become one thing. So if I go um, select group. Now to select group, I'm on the text tab because the text boxes are what's active. So I need to um, right click on this and I've got a group there. And you can see the key command, I could have used that. So now when I click on this, they all move as one, which is great. Now I need to start doing my diagram now. So I need a few of these. So I'm just going to do control C and control V and then just move them into position. So the first one's going to go over there. That's the starting point. Then I want, I'll just move this one as well. That's my second one. Then control V, my third one. 
function will be again so what one up here and then control V so each time so once you've done this you, you, the diagram building the diagram is quite straightforward I'm just I might need another one I can't remember so these numbers work like this so you just have at the top you just have the actual event number as it's called so in between these events these are events you have activities so I need some connection lines I'll change the numbers in a minute so connections I want the arrows this time um, I want a bendy do I want a bendy one I want a straight one actually straight one with an arrow head on that one I'll do so I'm coming from that one to that one except I don't want a double headed arrow just want a single one is it that one like so and then all the way along they're going to go like so so I can just click on that and they're going to drop in from one shape to another by just clicking on this so that's the flow if you like and it's also where you're going to put the the activities or type the activities and this will this will be deciding whether I need to do another one or not so to make a cup of tea so this is making a cup of tea. Let's do a, a little title up here. Making tea. There's a there's a title. So first thing you do is you fill the kettle. So double click on that. So I'm just going to call it fill. And then you boil the water. Boil. And you pour. And then you drink, double click, drink, and then, in fact, that's not drink, that's brew, brew. So I need another one of these, control V, so I've still got it in there, move that to the end, and that's the last one. So I need another line to go from that one to that one, like so, and this one's going to be drink drink now what's this one this one is prep cups so basically when you fill the kettle while the kettle's boiling prep cups can happen anytime during that period now, I haven't put the time periods in so I need an arrow to come from boil to prep cups and then from prep cups back into pour so a straight arrow will work coming out of this one straight up there Now that needs, this whole shape needs to come left a bit, because that arrow's a bit not straight, now it is. And now I need an elbow connector to come down to that one. So if I go across there, get myself an elbow connector with an arrow on it, pointing the right way. That's a double-headed one. I think it's that one. Go on there, and then come down to that. That's a straight line, but I can move that across, I think. Comes an elbow connector too far. So that needs to move across a little bit. This shape. Like so. So that's straight. Now I'm gonna put a make this into a dotted line because that would be um, shown as a dotted line. So if I do a dotted line there and this one as well. A dotted line. Didn't use the same one. That one. Because that's no time, so that's how that works. So this is going to be, it didn't matter where you put the, the title here, it goes in the middle anyhow. So prep cups. If you want to sit it in the line, you can um, just put it on there. So I could put it there, actually, prep cups is probably better. Prep cups. And I can delete that one. So that's prep cups. Now, the timings that you put in here are as follows. So it starts off, all these need to be just set to zero. So zero.
now it takes one minute to fill the kettle so this one just needs to be set to one minute and that task is going to be a two zero task 20 and that's going to be on one minute as well and then going into this one this is going to be task 30 three zero and prep cups itself is going to be one minute so if I put after the labels let's put what that's going to be one min so fill one min now if I haven't got enough space I'm going to have to reduce the font on that so that's one min so this side is now going to say two minutes that's two minutes so far and I'll leave that one, that'll be on zero still, I'll just leave that there, come back to that later on. So boil is going to be five min, let's get next to boil, five min, so it's, while that's boiling you can prep the cups, definitely going to have to change the font down. So this then is going to be six, so this text box is going to be six minutes gone so far, six, get rid of the zero, and this is going to be 40, four zero. Leave these blank. So pour is going to be one minute. One minute. And then, right, I need to sort this out now. Get these down a bit, these fonts. So I think I'm going to have to put these down to... Yeah, 12 looks okay, just about. Put all these to 12. I'll just pause that and just put them to 12. Okay, I've put them all to 12. So we're on six minutes duration. So it's an extra one minute. So that's going to go to a seven. That text box it needs to be seven. Get rid of that. And this is going to be 50. Whatever you do as numbers is totally up to. So brew, brew, according to Twining's T, is five mins. Never done that in my life. And this is going to be now five. Added on to seven, so that's going to be 12 minutes, and this is going to be 60. And then drink is also going to be five minutes. Five minutes. So that's going to change that one to 17 minutes. So 17 minutes, and then that's going to be. 70 so that's how you build that up now coming back you start off at 17 so this is working out the critical path and the critical path be, will be this the, the line that is zero so basically you take one from the other so that's going to leave that one as zero and that one is you're going to take off five from um, 17 which will leave that on 12 and then that's going to be 12 from 12 is 0 taking 5 of 12 which will be 7 so that one backspace again that will be 7 7 from 7 is 0 so you can see how this works then taking 1 of 7 which is 6 so that's going to be 6 and 6 from 6 is 0 and then we've going, we're going this way. So there's no time on this little leg there. So you've got six minutes. And you take six minutes into there. So six minutes. Delete that. Two from six is four. So there's four minutes slack. This can happen. This prep cups can happen any time during that five minute period. And then coming back on this one, we've got one from one is zero. So that's that one. And then you've got your critical path. So this line here, which is obvious, is your critical path. So these fonts obviously need to come down a bit more. I'll just change them down. I'll just pause it again. So that's how you, you do a critical path using LibreOffice Draw, your little mo modules we did first, or your nodes as they're called. And then you put your timings in. And whenever there's a zero, that's your critical path. So hopefully that 
little videos of use for you. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you in the next one.